Uh, welcome back to the show. What we've decided to do is we have Angie Penzo here, our patient. Thank you for coming. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a full body evaluation. We're going to show you how powerful body talk is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the feet. I'm going to evaluate through the whole body, take a look at her neck, her back, her shoulders, her organs, everything. And then we're going to have Melanie Buzak, who's a body talk instructor and a practitioner, to come in and do a treatment. And then after the treatment, I'm going to reevaluate. But before we get started, Angie, can you let me know a little bit about yourself? Do you have any pains anywhere in your body? I have low back pain. Where would the pain be in your low back? Can you show me where? It's um, so right in this area here? Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on the side mm -hmm. as well. Uh, before it was in the, the spine. Okay. When do you tend to get that pain? Um, the low back pain is pretty much all the time. Okay. The more I'm standing. Right. And then this happens at night on the side. And how bad is this pain on a scale from 0 to 10? Uh, around a five. About a five out of ten. Okay. Do you have pains anywhere else in your body? I have some pain here. Okay. And um, so right here in the front of your pelvis. Mm -hmm. And when do you tend to get that pain? It comes and goes without rhyme or reason. It doesn't have any relation to my mm -hmm. cycle or anything like that. What intensity would that be at out of ten? It's a dull ache around around four or five as well. Okay. So we have a low back pain. We have this anterior pelvic pain. Is there any complaints? Or any stiffness anywhere in your body? I have some tension in my left shoulder here, okay. upper sh shoulder, and um, my elbow has some limitations in it. Okay, good. Any other orthopedic problems in your neck, back, shoulders, besides we haven't talked about? No, nope, just the elbow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any, any menstrual problems? No. No. Any digestion problems? I feel bloated a lot. Okay. Do you ever get a lot of gas? Yeah. Or, okay. Uh, do you have any diarrhea, constipation? No. Okay. Do you have any heart problems or breathing problems? Sometimes I feel short of breath, like I right. just breathe really shallow. Okay. So right. I have to concentrate to take a deep breath. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the evaluation. We'll see if we can pick up a few things here. I'm going to start at your ankles. So in the clinic, when I'm evaluating someone, I do a thorough full body evaluation. So I'm just feeling her left ankle. Her right ankle seems to be a little bit more restricted. Okay. And then I'm going to come up and check her lower legs. What I'm doing is I'm actually actually compressing through bone to feel if there's tension in through there. And I'm picking up more tension here on her right side. Okay. So there's definitely more tension here. I'm going to compress through her knees. And her right side is definitely more restricted. So we're getting a pattern here. I'm going to compress in through her thighs. Right thigh again is more restricted. Again, more restricted. I'm now coming into her pelvis. And I'm just feeling, pelvis is three joints. And she's much, she's kind of restricted bilaterally, but a little bit more on her right. And I'm going to check the pubic joint, and again, that's stuck. So it seems to me that she has a lot more restriction here on this right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to evaluate some range of motion. As I lift up, right away I get some tension right in here, about 45 degrees. I'm now going to check the other side, and you can see that this side moves much easier. I'm going to check some hip movements, external rotation and internal rotation. So she moves quite free on this leg. So we'll come over on this side. Okay, that moves pretty free. But look at this side. This side is much more restricted. So if you remember, coming back to this side, it was very free. Okay, I can check bringing the leg out. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. So the key movement restrictions are this. Straight leg raise and the internal rotation are very locked. And she seems to be very restricted all the way up here on the right. So I'm now going to evaluate in the abdominal region, feeling for tension. And also where the liver and the spleen is. She seems to have a lot of tension in around the liver area. Spleen, a lot of tension around the spleen. In through here in the stomach, there's a lot of tension here because she had complained a little bit about some gas and bloatiness. So I definitely feel a lot of tension in through this area. As I come up, I'm going to check in through the front of the sternum. I'm going to check in the ribs in the front. Seems to be moving pretty good. A little bit more restricted here on her right side. So definitely more restriction there. So a lot of tension in here. I'm going to feel her shoulders. The right shoulder moves quite easy. Left shoulder is more restricted. I get more restriction and in range. Right humerus is moving well. Again, more restriction here. Pull on the elbow. So she tends to have a lot more restrictions on this side of the body. 
So I'm now going to come over to the neck area and also the clavicular area. So as I push here, her right side moves very easily, left side is more restricted. So again, we have a pattern where this clavicle, the sternoclavicular, chromioclavicular joints are restricted. Her shoulder joint all the way down through here is much tighter, and again, her right leg. Do you have headaches at all? No. Okay. So I'm now going to check her neck. She's a little bit restricted in her upper cervical spine. I'm now I'm going to check through here. And cervical spine seems to move quite free. Angie, I'm going to get you to roll over on your stomach for me, please. Okay, just put your arms by your side. Good, keep your head straight for me. So I'm going to check her sacral area. Much more restricted here on the right side. I'm going to check her lower back. L5 is a little restricted. And the rest of the area seem to move quite well. I'll check in around the kidney area. Left side moves well. Right side is more restricted. You can see the difference. This side moves quite easy. This side's restricted. Let me have you sit up with your back to me, please. So with her sitting in this position, I'm going to check her ribs, first rib on each side. She's more restricted here on the left. And what I'm doing is I'm very gently compressing her vertebral bodies, pushing forwards. And I'm getting some restrictions. What I'm doing is just pushing forwards like this on each vertebral body. She's very restricted in between her shoulder blades. As I come in through here, she has a nice spring through the front of her shoulder and her shoulder blade. On this side, there's more restriction. We're just going to check some range of motion here. She moves very free in this movement of abduction. Over in here, as I lift it up, is there any pain with that or is it just stiffness? Tightness. Tightness, yeah. So you can see how this arm moves very free. And over on this side, she gets restriction right away. So we'll check a few other shoulder movements. This comes up very nice, very loose at the end range. Let's see what this feels like. A little bit stiff at the end. Okay, probably in the last, you know, 15 degrees. Check some other movements here. Ooh, you can see the difference there. That moves quite well. She's definitely much more restricted there on her left. Arm behind the back. Definitely more restricted on this side. We'll check some other movements here in the shoulder. Very good. Check some movements here. That's fine. A little bit stiff coming back through here. Shoulder movements, internal external rotation. Okay, not too bad. Bring your chin to your chest for me. Good. Any problem with that? No. Bend your head backwards. Good. And relax. Turn your head to the left. Good. And to the right. Good. All right, you can lie back down. So basically what I found with Angie is I found a lot of tension in her right leg. She had a lot of restriction with a straight leg raise and also internal rotation. The joints of the ankle, her knees, lower leg, upper leg, and her pelvis in through here were restricted. I found a lot of tension right in here in her abdominal area. Her liver, stomach, spleen, sort of small intestine, large intestine. When I had her over on her stomach, uh, it was around L5, her right sacral region. Also, the kidney on the right side was restricted. And over through here, the heart region and also the ribs in this area and the shoulder, this whole left arm was restricted. And we found the limitation with her uh, dealing with abduction. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring Melanie Buzik in. Uh, Melanie was not here to watch the evaluation, so we wanted to make this as, as uh, scientific as possible. Melanie is now going to come in without even knowing Angie or any of the information we have here, and she's going to do a basic body talk treatment. After the body talk treatment, I'm going to come back in again, and I'm going to interview Angie again. We're going to do a reevaluation, and we're going to see what kind of changes do we get with just using body talk.